recovery uh, because it has uh, it, it will lay strong foundations for the upcoming summit in Tokyo on nutrition for growth next year as well as a key moment where all parts of the movement can come together and help to shape the next phase of the Sun movement. And I hope uh, that you will have heard the good news from the lead group meeting in New York last week, where lead group members agreed that there will be a third phase of the Sun movement running from 2021 to 2025. So today, it's a country-driven initiative led by 60 countries States and support thousands of stakeholders from across society, and we're all interested in the mission to all forms of nutrition by 2030. And the Skin Nutrition Movement was, was born from the collective that the international system was trying to address undernutrition, and all the evidence that emerged uh, 10 to 15 years ago about the reversal and devastating impact of something on children's physical and cognitive development, and then on the uh, economic potential and stability of, of countries. And this really armed uh, people to come together under the uh, framework for action that has established the scaling up nutrition movement. And countries are breaking down boundaries between sector stakeholders and systems approach to nutrition. The same kind of systems approach that we need to achieve all of the sustainable development goals. A sexual approach is integrating nutrition into related to sex um, and using measures of it under nutrition to track overall progress. Sectors like agriculture, social protection, health, education, water supply, sanitation, as well as cross like gender equality, governance, and mobility. And plans, while they draw on international evidence of good practice, the Sun Movement has established the importance that these are country-owned and build country-specific missions, needs, capacities. So, global gathering, the theme of this year's event will be Know People and Planet Together. Nutrition is good for sustainability, it's good for climate. And we'll bring together Sun Government. Representatives from civil society, from donors, from United Nations agencies, from the private sector, from academia, media, parliamentarians, others. It's a flight of events of the Sun Movement, an important moment where we can take stock of progress and challenges, share relations, and learn about what is helping to reduce malnutrition across all Sun countries. It will also be a moment for mutual accountability in the movement. The nutrition community can reflect on joint efforts to accelerate implementation and scale up results to achieve our 2030 goals. Gathering is a moment where actors can be energized and encouraged, uh, encouraging each other through sharing, learning, and finding ways to the fight against malnutrition to the next level. It's a critical stepping stone in the preparation the Tokyo 2020 Nutrition for Growth Summit, as well as the third phase of the Sun Movement. I'll say a few words about the Nutrition for Growth Summit that will be held in uh, Tokyo in December 2020. Uh, there will also be a high-level event, a springboard event, that will take on the eve of the opening ceremony of the Olympics. The summit will continue the legacy of Nutrition for Growth, which began with the London Summit in 2013, the beginning of a new race towards a healthier and better nourished future. So ensuring all people, including the most vulnerable, to safe and affordable and nutritious food by 2030. And the summit will focus on three core areas. First, make nutrition integral to universal health coverage, nutrition services in health systems, is one of the best investments we can make. So, uh, building food systems that promote health diets and nutrition, ensures producers and climate smart, crucial for people and planet. Resilience. Nutrition in fragile and conflict affected context is for people impacted by violence and instability, and children in these settings who are 
especially vulnerable to malnutrition. Look at promoting data-driven accountability and bring new investment and driving in innovation in nutrition financing, which across all of these core areas. Let's get nutrition or gathering taking place one year ahead of the summit is an important moment for all of the actors in the movement to commit to making the total summit a success. And an opportunity to uh, reaffirm and renew commitments uh, to nutrition growth, bearing in mind that the commitments that were made in London in 2013 expire next year. So we need to set ourselves new commitments. Phase of the Sun movement, the global gathering is an opportunity to shape the future of the sun. The phase of the sun movement ends next year and we review progress and look ahead. Ensure the movement makes continuous progress to reduce malnutrition in all of the member countries. The sun committee has commissioned a strategic review of the movement that will report in March, April next year. Recommendations to the movement vision, strategy, capabilities and structure of the next phase of the movement. MTS, which is funded by DIFID, has um, assembled a team of independent consultants. They're all parts of the movement and we many opportunities for you to meet with them uh, during the global gathering. So uh, please take advantage of these opportunities and come meet with your ideas and your priorities to shape the future of the Sun Movement. So, the third phase of the Sun Movement in 2021, every stakeholder needs to commit to collaborative action to change and sustain impact on nutrition to leave no one behind in the SDGs. We all come together with us at the Sun Global Gathering, ready for this challenge and start to raise towards a healthier, better nourished future. Thank you very much. For eloquently setting the scene, so we'll through the main elements of today's webinar, we're going to have a look at the program, its various components, briefly touch on the global village, have a brief demonstration of how the registration system works, run through logistics, hotels, visas, and uh, rules for questions and answers. With the question and answers, could I ask that? Those of you who have not been on previous Sun webinars, just session through the chat box to the whole group, and then we can address these uh, at the end as we get into the Q&A system and just make it more coherent. Great. Looking to the program. The meetings commence officially on Monday. Now, Monday's meetings are tailored to a couple of people. So not everyone is going to be completely involved in, in the agenda. Uh, in the morning section, it's going to be individual networks and the focal points. And this is arranged a couple of meetings, which is looking at progress through the movement, uh, the achievements, the challenges, and also having a forward look towards the next phase of the Sun movement, the strategic reviews. Basically, how you'd like to see the global gathering shape up and you'd like to take from the global gathering. In the afternoon, the executive committee is going to meet with the local court, and then networks are going to have these joint network sessions. And then the lead group and uh, executive committee are going to have the high level governance related uh, meetings. In the evening, from 6 to 7, we anticipate the opening session in a cultural event followed by a reception hosted by National Planning Commission of Nepal. On the day, I'm sorry, before I proceed on to the Tuesday, as you can see, this Monday is going to involve maybe the focal points, the networks, some partners, executive committee, not all country delegations. This is something that you should get onto our website and just look in planning your travel and accommodation. So those who will be required to set up the global village, which 
which we'll touch on later on uh, in the agenda. Might have come through on the Sunday as well as those who are participating in the net and the focal point meetings. But we'll get more into that during the logistics section. For the program on Tuesday and Wednesday. Participate kick off with plenaries on each day. Now the first day of plenary is going to be a high level plenary at heads of state and government level. This is basically uh, will be seen in the ambition for the Sun Global Gathering, a key stepping stone towards the Tokyo 2020 Nutrition for Growth Summit, and looking towards phase three of the Sun Movement. As you can see uh, on the slide, this is going to be broadcast live stream in Facebook, so not able to attend the event, will be able to follow proceedings only for plenaries, not across all, not all uh, workshops, but only for all theories, you will be able to follow live uh, social media. The second half of the of, 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 of day will be dedicated to workshops. Now we've got two workshop sessions through from 11 till 3 o'clock. <laughs> now till 11 o'clock and then, and then 3 o'clock till 5 o'clock. So there's two sessions of uh, workshops, and it's going to be five workshops running across each session. Then we've taken back the feedback from previous global gatherings that people have time to interact, to debate on the issues that are key to countries, and hence we've chopped down the number of plenaries and kept one a day, allowed for more workshops, and allowed for more working, engaging uh, events. You'll see tea and coffee breaks are slightly longer, running about 45 minutes every morning, and a networking lunch in the afternoon, which runs over two hours through the global village. And this is a uh, two hour lot from one o'clock till three o'clock, where there's going to be a range of activities that will take place during the whole village, served alongside uh, with lunch served alongside those. Today, to the second plenary is looking at summarizing our progress, our future. So the plenary will celebrate the accomplishments of the Sun Movement today and lessons for its success. The third plenary will be shining on the Sustainable Development Goals 10 years ago, equal 17. The plenary will focus on the changing landscape and how the Sun Movement can evolve in its third phase to become a universal movement for common all forms of malnutrition. And then the fourth plenary is going to be the wrap up, the closing ceremony, the end of malnutrition and leaving no one behind. So what we thought is setting the high level framework, high level theme of how we like uh, the sun movement, the global gathering to look like. The second day is looking at the prayers being made across across the movement, the challenges and opportunities that are faced on a day-to-day -day basis. And the third, the third plenary, third day is looking at the way forward. How are we projecting towards the upcoming event in Tokyo as well as the next phase of the Sun Movement? Similarly, on the workshops, we gave these a bit of a, a, a theme based on the Sun Roadmap capabilities. And this got us into five key theme areas of all workshops have been grouped. In summary, these themes range from planning to practice, delivering, delivering to the policy cycle, advocacy and mobilizing mass change, making efficient everyone's business, building for impact at scale, so multi-stakeholder action on universal challenges, empowerment, leaving no one behind, Sharing learning and demand driven technical assistance, high knowledge of Sun for sustainable change. And then all five workshops, five workshops were grouped into each theme. So we have a total of 25 workshops running across all three days of, of global gathering. So the global village. For those of you who've been in the movement longer, the Global Village is a rebranded marketplace. So this is the 
pervasive center. It's going to be animated, exciting, allow for networking. We expect having a, a youth corner. So bringing up all of the excitement, exciting things that are happening around the movement and technology space, as well as putting our refreshment area around there to allow people to better collaborate and engage together. Global Village will be open every morning, lunch, and afternoon, with tea breaks taking place in Global Village and lunch also taking place in the Global Village. We think there's going to be a big center stage for side events, which will be different to the main plenaries and workshops, but there's some times where we feel there might be, or we are anticipating there might be a spin off of uh, topics that require further engagement in a list. All, uh, manner, the Global Village is going to provide this sort of space, along with the traditional stands that, that countries that network parties will be able to, 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 to present. Now, each stand will include one back wall, one in socket, lighting, tools, and a table counter. Don't focus so much about capturing all of this. Uh, we within the Secretariat will be sending across a logistics note dedicated to the Global Village in the coming days, and this will give you everyone a better idea of what to bring in your preparation, what sort of uh, marketing, branding material you'll need to set up the whole, the whole works. This will all come through in the Global Village logistics note, which will come through in the coming days. I think there'll be a central stage. We can't confirm exactly what it looks like because we have our team in Nepal working with the National Planning Commission in Nepal currently who are looking at how space has been allocated and refining the finer details. Once we have all of these, this will pass along through to countries, networks, and our partners in preparation for the Global Village. For the Global Village, will take place on the Sunday. So, plan to arrive Sunday morning to set up across Sunday evening, and that will leave some of you to continue the setup on Monday if need be. But those who are attending the Monday meetings we spoke about earlier on will be will be Monday meetings. The Global Village will be inaugurated on the opening ceremony, which will take place on the Monday, Monday night after the opening reception. So, all preparations should be ready by this Monday evening. Now I'll pass you on to our colleague, Merrick, who will just give an online demonstration of how the registration system will work. platform uh, that we developed uh, together with our partners. This registration platform should allow you to organize your trip and also to help organize the things for you so that your participation in the as smooth as possible. So uh, this uh, uh, platform, uh, as you see, it is a testing version now. You receive uh, from us uh, a link to this platform, the live version, uh, by uh, this Friday. Uh, the live version of the platform will be available from 12 a.m. Geneva time uh, this Friday. So it's there that we would like you to register to go on the link that you will receive. So how you will uh, uh, press your registration. The first page where you will choose on the page new registration. You have your email address. Uh, to which uh, group of stakeholders you belong to, or which uh, stakeholders you represent in. Uh, the short gathering. You say and you continue. 
The next, uh, you have to complete uh, more uh, identification details, including your first name, your the country you are coming from, birthday. If you are part of a country's official delegation or not, as uh, the uh, information if you are official sun focal point or not. This will help us to organize the uh, spe specific events. So please, uh, please fill in these uh, ones. Add your uh, job title. Even that you are. Uh, representing your mobile phone number and the field, uh, Skype uh, Twitter. I think that I've entered no format the phone number. Still. <laughs> make it a little bit shorter. Here we go. The next, uh, next page uh, is related to your uh, visa. So here you have to indicate from which uh, country uh, you are coming. Your passport. Your passport number. Issue of the passport. Issue and uh, expiration day. We uh, ask you to upload uh, the. Identification page uh, of the page where there's a photo, your name and the passport number uh, in the PDF format. Uh, we have to provide a, a I photo in the JPEG format. So the photo, a special tool to select uh, the part of the photo that you uploaded. Uh, be shown what is important. Uh, the photo will be used uh, for your badges, so please uh, show the photo that some presents you and that you will be happy to have on your badge. So you make uh, the selection which you save. Continue with your registration. One of the information that we are requiring in this part of registration uh, is the uh, information related to tax requirements. So reference, we are almost at the end of the base part of registration. So here the system is asking you if you're registering just yourself or some other uh, participants. This is in the case that you are uh, Making registration for your colleagues or uh, other parts of your members of your delegation. In case I am uh, in no, because I'm doing just registration for myself, I continue. End of the session. So uh, this is uh, the confirmation of your registration. 
you can print it. What is very important is this reference number. You will receive this reference number together with the email uh, that you are using for the registration. You will receive it from our email address, SAMGG 2019, uh, and uh, you will be able to use this as a identification to enter the uh, registration system. That's because we'll be adding some more fields in the registration system. Uh, there will be fields related to your accommodation, so the choice of your hotel, as well as your arrival and departure, so there you can indicate the time, but also the flights uh, that you will be taking. And the last part that we'll be asking you for is your choice of the workshops. All the information will help us to uh, better repair your participation, so uh, you'll be always receiving from the DG uh, mail kind of uh, re-invitation to complete the information that will be already ready in the registration system. So, uh, when you finish uh, this part, you have the confirmation email and you can always come back to it. The platform is a little bit simplified for our participants, uh, our colleagues from Nepal, where uh, we do not expect that they will need, uh, in most of the cases, uh, uh, details, uh, hotel, but as well the uh, identification details are somehow simplified. The uh, platform is uh, in uh, three languages uh, of the movement. So in the French, uh, Spanish, and English, in English as I presented it to you uh, now. Uh, I'll hand over to Brenda for an update on logistics. Okay, so just a few words on logistics. And um, the logistics note is available on the website, so you can provide, you can provide more details on logistics there. But uh, firstly, visas, and this should be your first priority to uh, arrange for your visa. Uh, before travel. Arrival is available for almost all countries. Uh, there's a few countries where this isn't possible, and those are Afghanistan, Cameroon, Iswatini, Ethiopia, Gaza, Liberia, Nigeria, Somalia, and Zimbabwe. And uh, we've already been in touch with those countries and advised them on how they can uh, secure a visa uh, with the Nepalese authorities through a separate process. And you buy online uh, by filling in the visa application form online and the uh, address, website address is given on the screen now. It's also on the, in the logistics notes. Um, you submit your form to the Department of Immigration. The box so there's a drop down menu and the choice you make is Department of Immigration. And then you receipt with a barcode and you should print that and bring it along with you to Nepal. At the airport, you can produce your receipt with barcode, barcode and then pay for your visa and, and be processed. These range from uh, 30 US dollars for a 50 day visa through uh, $50 for a 30 day visa and $125 for a 90 day visa. And you do carry the exact amount uh, for your visa in dollars cash and make it much quicker to get through the immigration process. Also, to bring a printed copy of your letter of invitation, your kit, and your accommodation. So, turning to the next slide, uh, talking about accommodation. Um, hotels, uh, we have uh, negotiated special rates with hotels. And, uh, these will be available uh, when the registration platform is up and running. Uh, you can choose from a list of hotels there. Where the special rates are available. Uh, participants are responsible for booking and paying for uh, accommodation themselves. Now, on the every participant will be asked to fill in a health declaration when you arrive at Tribhuvan International Airport. Uh, and some of the participants, uh, or many of the participants, but you may be asked for a valid yellow fever vaccination certificate, especially if you're traveling from Africa. Latin America and the Caribbean. We consult the uh, logistics notes for further information on that. 
temperature during the time of global gathering is, is very pleasant. It ranges from uh, 23 degrees centigrade, maximum minimum of 8 degrees centigrade. So we recommend that you bring warm clothes for the uh, cooler evenings. Then on the next slide, the um, currency is uh, the Nepalese rupee. And um, major debit and credit cards such as Visa and MasterCard are accepted in major hotels, in tourist shops, uh, agencies, restaurants and supermarkets throughout Kathmandu. Major international currencies can be exchanged at the airport or um, at money exchange counters and banks. And for illustration, the UN exchange rate for September 2019 between the dollar and the Nepalese rupee is around 114, 115 rupees to the US dollar. Time in Nepal is five hours and 45 minutes ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, and the recommended code for the global gathering is uh, is business is higher. Back to you for for the timeline. Thanks. Just to give everyone a rough idea of the key events coming up uh, in the nutrition in the nutrition sphere over the next year. We are Sun League group meeting in September in New York uh, under the margins of the United Nations General Assembly. They can see in uh, Nova we're going to be having the Sun Global Gathering taking place in Kamandu in African Union Summit. In April to June is the Sustainable Development Goal 2.3 Conference and Gas Replenishment, followed by the Nutrition Springboard event we introduced right at the start at the Tokyo Olympics in July, and in the Tokyo Nutrition for 2020 summits taking place in December in Japan. So that's just a rough sketch of the landscape over the next year and how we are building up to the gathering followed by the Nutrition for Growth Summit in 2020 and then phase three of the Sun Movement start kicking off in 2021. I'll stop it there and uh, we can now move straight on to questions and answers. Please send them through the chat box. We will start with the first question that came through on special rates at hotels. I think this got covered in the uh, penultimate slide uh, regarding will there be special rates at hotels, which hotels are covered, and is there a special code to be, or do, or do one have to book directly with the hotel? This, all this information is going to be uploaded onto the registration platform, and so all the hotels that are available that are recommended will be there along with their special rates. So please just hold. You are free to call them and you can negotiate a different rate of your own, but what the secretary will be putting up is uh, the rate they've managed to, to negotiate. Any more? Any more? Does a holder of UNLP require visa on arrival? Yes. Yes. UNLP. A lot of the secretary all has those, so we all will still require visas on arrival. So please go through the same process. The UN Lese Passe will not will not exempt you from the visa process. Deadline, but this is because November is in the past peak tourist season, so a lot of the rooms are filling up, and this is the best that the SMS and uh, the Nepal government under the Planning Commission have been able to, to negotiate. 
The question coming in, will recommendations regarding trans from airport be shared? I think that means that we'll be will be transport provided from the airport to the hotels. Yes, to all major hotels, there will be uh, there will be a shuttle provided. Barbarian, but will be traveling from Papua New Guinea, will be required as those coming from Lea. Yeah. More on this one. Um, I think uh, the requirements, the visa requirements, relate to your nationality. So if you're on a Liberian couple, they follow the recommendations for people uh, traveling from Liberia or well, anyone traveling on a Liberian couple. With special requirements in the list of countries requiring special requirements. So, yes, I'm being reminded by a colleague around the table. Please have support now because that's more time. The communication indicated that visa application will be facilitated through the SMS. So, proceed with the online application or wait for the SMS. The application. It would be best for you to proceed with the online application, but no, it's only valid for 15 days. So you should do it within 15 days of your intended travel to Nepal. People from Ethiopia, Somalia, can they get via on arrival using UN music? Yeah, if you're on the special list, uh, you go through uh, the, the the separate process for the special list. We have we don't assurances regarding UNLP from uh, from the Nepalese government, but we, they have assured us that they will make the arrangements for people on on that list. Yeah, yeah. Some, some interference there. Anyway, um, in my own UN Lesse Tafe, I have a visa in there. Even though I have a UN Lesse Tafe, I have to get a visa to travel to Pau. So um, please do um, follow the processes relating to your nationality, whether you're able to apply online or whether you go through the, the process. For the special press, you do deal with the SMS and we need your passport SAP. Uh, the hotel information, including special rates, going to be Loaded onto the registration platform today. Maria, please. When will they upload it on the registration platform? Given the nine October deadline. Uh, this needs to the information from you and uh, from our computer. We expect in the days. Let's. let's Say in the coming days on this, and we'll work to make sure you've got the most accurate information on on hotel details and uh, and pricing as as soon as possible. We understand this is something that's very critical to everyone's travel, so we will work to get that information out to you as as soon as possible and have it and send you the link when it's up and ready on the registration platform as well as on our website. So we will work to get this information out to you as soon as possible. Great. Are there are there any other questions coming through? When the event website, the question asking if the participant is an official focal point, that apply to any Sun country network or the Sun representative for the Sun Global Secretary. Um, government focal point. Focal point would be a focal point. I think that technical and yes, yeah, yeah, the technical or focal points, but focal points should be focal points. Here we go. And, and working for the government. And working for the government. When is the registration procedure available? This is to ensure hotel bookings by the night as you recommend. Registration, as we've just said, it will be available. 
helpful in, in the next few days and we will inform people when the registration is uh, is up. and then please log on and make your registration and book your hotel. Recommendations um, regarding transport from the airport. Yes, yes. It will all be included in the logistics now. Talk something about our and be sent now. I think I need to I need to understand. Can you that again? You're repeating and just making it clear what needs to happen for those. So uh, there, let's re pull up the uh, slide that shows the list of, of countries that have um, that need actual uh, visa um, arrangements. So the government of now um, allows visa on arrival for almost every country, uh, but there are countries where the, the, the need to be pressing through the uh, Nepalese um, administration. Those so are Afghanistan, Cameroon, Bikini, Ethiopia, Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, Somalia, and Zimbabwe. And if you're travelling as a national of one of the countries, so on a passport from one of those countries, uh, you need to go through this uh, special arrangement we need that um, you need to be in touch with the SS so that we copy of your passport um, and um, can proceed with um, with with that. I see a number of you are, are asking about the laissez passe. My understanding is that even if you have a laissez passe because now of one of these countries, we need to go through the process with the Nepalese government. The Nepalese government has that they will um, expedite this as quickly as possible, um, but they do need your uh, your details, your passport details uh, ahead of time. Thanks. Uh, when, um, what's the transportation arrangement from the hotels to the summit venue? That, we we will make um, we'll um, as we stand up, we'll provide the information on the website and we'll update our logistics note. But we're planning to have uh, some uh, buses coming to the venue um, and we'll have those uh, from the hotels where people are staying. Um, and people choose to stay off where they can get to a point where they can pick a bus up. But we'll provide um, transportation. However, we're hoping that a lot of participants will be able to walk to the venue because the Yeti is in the centre of of you where there are a lot of hotels within walking distance. Location, and we'll let you know about it. We'll cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all days. Now, catering will cover coffees from 15 to 11 o'clock and lunch from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those involved in the Monday meetings, they're covered. Bring will be up to participants to cater for themselves. This will be up to participants to cater for themselves. On the uh, opening night on the Monday, there will be a reception. So there will be food provided there, but that's still be confirmed the exact menu for that. So, yes, mid and tea and lunch will be covered throughout the global gathering, but breakfast and dinner will be at the participants' arrangements. Explain again about the 15 days before travel visa application. Can you please explain again about the 15 days? before travel for visa application. Yes, that 15 days is 15 days before you intend to arrive in Nepal. So 15 days before you will physically arrive in Nepal. Any time before it won't, you'd have to submit the application again.
Basically, everybody who, are, who gives visa on arrival, so this application form online, no earlier than 15 days before they can travel. I know that. <laughs> the arrangement that we have with the government of Nepal in order to facilitate visa arrival, and usually that, that wouldn't be available uh, for everybody, and they think that the uh, application is made um, uh, no earlier than 15 days before the date of arrival. However, special customs are not Please send your information to SMSP. If there's no more questions, I'll hand over to our director, Brenda, to close off the webinar. Well, um, thank you very much for uh, attending the webinar. Um, if you have further questions, uh, please consult the logistics notes. If you're still unsure, then do come back to us with your precise questions. But the um, advice at this stage is uh, if, you, if you're from one of those countries where it's not possible to have a visa on arrival, so in the countries that, that, that we read out and which are listed on the screen now, then please proceed with the share of passport with the, um, with the SS so that we can apply for your um, special visa with the next legal authorities right away. Okay. So anyone else is planning to have a visa on arrival, uh, for the instructions in the logistics notes about the timing, the window within which you apply for the visa on arrival, uh, knowing that uh, it should be no earlier than 15 days before you plan to arrive. Uh, and then we will let you know as soon as the registration system and hotel booking is live, and then we encourage you to um, to the hotel as soon as that uh, that window is open. Um, we're looking to seeing you in Kathmandu and um, into the logistics. Please do yourself for um, what do you want from um, nutrition for growth? What do you think is most important for the third of the sun movement? Because uh, We'll get to hear from you and make sure that we collectively work together to shape the next phase and to our goals by 2030. Thank you.